people, the Ozark Mountains of Missouri, it's Jubilee, USA. Brought to you by Carter's Bill, with the exact same formula as ever, unchanged for 80 years. And now stepping out here to do the last of 297 consecutive Jubilees, Red Foley! <laughs> than the palm of your hand. His mammy looked at him and proudly said, John Henry Pierce, the driving man. Lord, Lord, John Henry Pierce, the driving man. John Henry was a little bitty boy sitting on his mammy's knee. There's a big, big tunnel on the sea and old road. It's gonna be the death of me, Lord, Lord. It's gonna be the death of me. John Henry was a steel driving man. Drove steel all over this land. Before I'd let that steam drill get me down, I'd die with a hammer in my hand, Lord, Lord. I'd die with a hammer in my hand. Before we wrap up the Jubilee for our keeps, let's call on three boys here who've been with us right from the beginning. They've been through thick and thin with us in the mug and the mire <laughs> and miles and hours of traveling this summer. Very deserving group. Slim Wilson and our tall timber tree. <laughs> And now here is an important message about your health. Which leading laxative gives you a doctor's formula in pill form? Only Carter's pills. Yes, Carter's pills, a doctor's formula. See what this means. One, 
Carter's is the only leading laxative in pill form that gives you Emidin laxative action. Medical authorities say that a laxative with Emidin action provides effective temporary relief from irregularity. No other leading laxative gives you Emidin action in pill form. Advantage two, Carter's does not act in your stomach. See why. This cross section of a Carter's pill shows it has a special enteric coating. This means it does not dissolve in the stomach. Instead, Carter's acts where it should act, in your lower digestive tract. Advantage three, a Carter's pill is so little, it rolls easily through the soda straw. That's why Carter's are so pleasant and easy to take. So when you need temporary relief from that sluggish, headachey, fatty feeling due to temporary irregularity, take a doctor's formula, Carter's pill. Well, sir, in the years that our show has gone out over the air, we hope we've made many new friends. We've met a lot of old ones. And we've always tried to do our best to please as many people as possible by way of variety. And we realize that ambition every time we introduce these two young boys, because as Uncle Sipes says, they are the genuine article from the Ozarks here, Harold Morrison and Jimmy Gately. Boys. you'd look over here. Here it is, our last show. Fred, you have that. And Suge Fisher laying over here sleeping. Hey, Suge. Suge. Hey, Suge. You're on, buddy. Come on. Come on, you're on. Come on, come on. Get up here and go to work. Go on, go to work. Go to work, yeah. You got to Go to work. Working and never will. He's an old good son of a gun. I'd rather sleep than eat my bill. He's an old good son of a gun. I got a job with Red and the crew, but Red said, Son, I'm going to fire you. So I guess that's what he'll have to do. He's an old good son of a gun. Oh, yeah, I come. Oh, here he comes. Just taking my time. Just taking his time. I'm a lazy rambling, rolling, rambling, no good son of a gun. I'm a lazy rambling, rolling, rambling, no good son of a gun. Well, he's an old good son of a gun. 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 And the wind of him is when he had killed one, ten more with hats, so I sold him off with a newborn bat, so they tired me out just watching the crash. He's an old good son of a gun. Oh, yeah, I come. Oh, here he comes. Just taking my time. Just taking his time. I'm a lady around the crow, gambling, no good son of a gun. Did you ever see a turtle call? He's an old good son of a gun. He takes his time, no hurry at all. He's an old good son of a gun. He lives for a hundred years, but still he pays no rent or he pays no bills. So why should I don't think I will? He's an old good son of a gun. Oh, yeah, I come. Oh, here he comes. Just taking my time. Just taking his time. I'm a lady rambling, grown gambling, no good son of a gun. Now, I've been tired since life begun. He's an old good son of a gun. I don't recall any words I've done. He's an old good son of a gun. Think I'll marry me a wealthy wife and settle down away from strife and sleep all the rest of my life. 
my natural life. He's an old good son of a gun. Oh, here I come. Oh, here he comes. Just taking my time. Just taking his time. I'm a lady around the throne gambling. No good son of a pretty good after I woke you up there, but you know, I, 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 I don't know about you. What's that? Well, you don't know what's going on around your head. Oh, right? yes, I do, 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 one, do, 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 two, two. I don't know what you don't. Doing. You don't even know who's coming up. The yes, I do. Yes, Next. I do. He said. He said. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. He's a, a nice-looking guy. Come on. Picked and sang the guitar. I'm about to do right to the ball. Who is it? Who is it? I know. I know. Don't press it. Got a fine boy. Got a wonderful, beautiful, handsome smile. Thanks, good. Yeah. Come on. Well. Leroy Van Dyke. I knew it all the time. Hey, well, all right, here's a little baron. What are you going to give for? I'm at 25, I guess 30 now. Five, we're ready to five another forty dollars on to make it a forty now. Five, we're ready to five another fifty dollars on to buy him there. There was a boy in Arkansas who would listen to his mom. He took away in afternoon, take a little walk, and pretty soon you'd find him at the local auction bar. He'd stand there and listen carefully, then pretty soon he began to see how the auctioneer could talk so rapidly. He said, oh my, it's do or die, I've got to learn that auction, for I gotta make my mark and be an auctioneer. Twenty-five dollars, thirty now, thirty dollars, thirty, really give me thirty, make it thirty, get it, bump thirty dollars, really give me thirty, who is it? Help me uh, auction off here these next 60 seconds, will you? you I'd ahead. love to do that. I'm a 25 to get 30 now. Five, we're going to five another photo. I was going to make it a photo now. Five, we're going to five another 50. You say 50 now. Five, we're going to five another photo. Davy, Davy Crockett, king of the wild frontier. Yes, it's Davy Crockett, exciting hero of story and song, returning to ABC when Walt Disney presents Moves to a New Day and a New Time, beginning Sunday, September 25th at 6.30 p.m. over most of these stations. See all the spectacular action and thrill to the legends of the frontier's most exciting hero. Don't miss Davy Crockett's adventures in keelboat race and river pirates at a new day and time beginning Sunday, September 25th, on Walt Disney Presents.
Walt Disney Presents has moved. Tune in tomorrow night on most of these stations. Another group that's great, and I'm just sorry that they weren't, haven't been with us all through the years. Here they are, our wonderful singing group, the Jubilaires, boys and girls.
This old house that's housed the Jubilee, the Jewel Theater in Springfield, Missouri, is going to be empty on Saturday nights from now on. But you look for the Jubilee to come calling in your hometown in the very near future. Now we're going to be right back with Red Foley in just a minute. Thundering out of the excitement-filled days when Pioneer America pushed its way westward comes television's newest adventure, Stagecoach West. On Stagecoach West, you'll meet and get to know three fascinating people. Wayne Rogers as Luke, driver of the Stagecoach West, a man born to adventure. Robert Bray as Simon Kane, a man looking for roots in a time of turbulence. Richard Iyer as his son Davy, a small boy who throws a big shadow in the image of the father he adores. You know something, Pop? I didn't know you could fight like that. I was real proud of you. Here is the raw, rugged face of the West, when a man had to be quick with his fists and quicker with his gun. You can draw any time you're ready. You know I haven't got a chance beating you to the draw. I'm going to kill you whether you draw or not. Stagecoach West, every week on ABC TV. Catch the premiere Tuesday night, October 4th, on most of these stations. Good Lord, bless and keep you, whether near or far away. May you find that long-awaited golden day today. May your troubles all be small and your fortune ten times ten. out there and never see that are on the Jubilee. They work hard all week long uh, so that people like me can get up here and take the credit for doing the show. And this being our last show, I want to tell them from the bottom of my heart, all of our crew, how much I appreciate what they've done for me. If you'll turn the camera, we'll let you folks get a few behind the scenes look here. The camera on the control room in there uh, there are some of the our producers, the directors, writers, some artists and technicians that you never get to see. And they go a long way to make our show possible. And we'd like to bring out several gentlemen here who are responsible for moving all of the scenery around. Our stage crew, they're a very important part of our show. Oh, boy, that is our stage crew, and thank you, gentlemen. There's so many people that we would like to thank publicly, uh, like our idiot board girls here. Would you come here, Merlin, please? Merlin, hurry up. Come here. See, she, she has to hold the idiot board, and here's the other one. So we, here's our camera boys. You know what? See, if it wasn't for Marilyn and the other little girl, she had, uh, I can't think of her name. By old idiots like me, Sally, we couldn't talk to you, see, if we didn't have these girls holding these boards up here. Now then, uh, we'd like to bring all of our whole, well, our whole cast out here on the stage. Come on, gang, let's all join a round old red Foster. Watch 
Watch out, man. The skipper's going to get your... Let's all join in the last part of this, huh? on the 297th and final Jubilee USA. We've been sent to you from the Ozark Mountains of Missouri these past five and a half years through the facilities of station KYTV. And we'd like to thank Southwestern Bell Telephone and the ABC TV network for carrying us into your home. We've been produced by Crossroads TV. And this is Joe Slattery saying, So long, everybody! <laughs> on Prejudice in the North. Watch Cast the First Stone when Close Up premieres Tuesday, 9 Eastern, 8 Central Time on ABC.